Permit Elements is a set of pre-built and embeddable UI components that provide access control experiences for your end users. In today's tutorial, I will introduce you to Elements and show you how simple they are to implement. What you can see in front of you is the Permit Elements homepage. This is the place where you'll be able to create your elements, configure your elements, customize them, then copy the final code snippet that you'll then be able to embed into your application and see permit elements come to life. Let's click create element. And there we go. What you get introduced with is a pop-up screen. The left side is the customization and configuration, not only of the levels and roles, but also of things like colors and default customizations of what the element will actually look like to your end users. And on the right, what we have is the live preview. As we make changes on the left-hand side, we'll see those changes take effect on the right-hand side. We'll be able to select what that element will look like for that specific meta permission level that we will assign roles to on the left. And we're also going to be able to pick what tenant do we actually use that's going to then take effect on what kind of users we have in this element. Now, this is great when you're working with concepts of multi-tenancy. The first thing that we actually need to do for an element is give it a name. And I'm just going to very simply and boringly call it user management. Now, once we do that, let's actually go ahead to create uh, and assign all our roles. Now, all the roles that are available within permit will render inside this hidden role permission level that we have right here. Now, let's assume that maybe some of these roles we don't want to add, but some of these roles we do. So in this case, I'm going to want any user that has the super admin role to be the workspace owner for this particular element. And as you can see, as soon as I added this role, and because we're viewing what the element will look like for this permission level, it renders live what this permit element will actually look like to the end user with that specific role. Now let's assume that maybe I want my level two to manager to be anyone who has the role of a developer. Then maybe I want my viewer to be someone who has the role of a viewer. Now the assignable role level, I specifically call the role assignable role, so you will know which role I'm actually referring to. Now in this case, I want to not include product managers as part of this element configuration, so I'm just going to leave them in hidden roles. Now, as you can see, as I've added all these uh, roles to those permission levels, more actually users appeared. But what happens if maybe I see this element as a viewer? Well, let's actually change this permission uh, level and what the live preview renders for us. And what you'll see is that all that configuration where we could invite a an user is not available to us anymore. So as you can see, that element does change and those permissions are taken away from the users that are not supposed to have them. So you can see how that hierarchy of permissions actually proceeds throughout the permit element. Now, once we're happy with our assignment of roles and how we distribute those roles for that specific permit element, there is other configuration options that we should also focus on. The first option here is that we can pick the default role that we assign when we create new users. Then we have some theming configuration options. We can show or hide the title. I can change the background color of the permit element. Then we have user data and management. So how do we want this user data to appear within the element? By default, it is going to be an email. The other option that you also get is to configure a webhook. Now the webhook will inform you of specific events that are relevant for that element. Now, once we're actually happy with all our configuration, we can go ahead and create this element. I have already launched a very simple React application where we can embed this piece of code. So what we can do is you can get the code, you can copy that code snippet and paste it into your application. Thank <laughs> you. 